comedy can go fuck itself. <laughs> I've been doing comedy for so long that it isn't funny. <laughs> Here's a new joke. Tell me what you think. <laughs> well, my friend, uh, X. And then I insert some sort of premise. And then I transpose the logic of the original setup. And that becomes the punchline. What do you think? <laughs> I made me a little work. <laughs> Can comedy affect change in the real world? I don't think so. Here's a joke I did the first time I went on stage in 1986. It's still in my act. I wrote to the FBI to ask them if they still have a file on me. They wrote back and they said, we do now. <laughs> Has anything changed in the past 25 years since you told that joke? I don't think so. Things have gotten worse. There's a Patriot Act, the Department of Homeland Security, there's drones. The internet tracks my every click. I got a GPS on my phone. I got a traceable magnetic strip on my passport. The only thing that's changed in the past 25 years is when I started with that joke, it was a joke about being paranoid. <laughs> Prepares. And when he had a single tear, 
rolling down his cheek. He makes entrance. <laughs> <laughs> but he was overcome. Freddy was. Freddy was. Freddy was. I can't go on! <laughs> symphony conductor. But when I was a kid, orchestras wouldn't play with me. 